here at the Macquarie Uni train station. This is one of the many stations that is going to be closed and cannibalized to make way for the privately operated Sydney Metro. Thousands of people use this station every single day. So why is the government then planning to shut it down at the end of this year, spend hundreds of millions of dollars and force commuters onto buses for up to seven months? The reality is there is nothing wrong with this train line or the station. And the only reason they're doing this is to privatize a public transport system. Replacement bus services could double some passengers' daily commute time. Even when the line is reopened as a private metro, people won't be able to get a direct service to the city until 2024. Just this week, we have seen chaos on Sydney trains as a result of a system being pushed beyond its capacity, paired with a lack of investment over the years. Imagine if the tens of billions being spent on this privatization experiment were spent on the trains we catch day in and day out. This government is focused on one thing and one thing alone, selling off our public assets, including public transport. Share this video if you think the government should be investing in making Sydney trains more comfortable, more reliable, and expanding this network, rather than breaking up Sydney train lines for private profit.